After vanishing more than a century ago, giant blue-gray say whales are being spotted again off Argentina's Patagonian coast. The species was relentlessly hunted in the 1920s and 30s, but in the last 50 years, global bans on commercial whaling have helped them bounce back. Biologists call the comeback a global conservation success, but urge countries to protect whale moratoriums. Biologist Mariano Coscarella leads research project Proyecto Se. The team has fit satellite trackers on some say whales to map their migration patterns. Coscarella says it's taken decades for numbers to recover to an amount where the whales can be sighted again, which only started in recent years. What you have to bear in mind with this species is that they are a migrant species and swim for long journeys. So even though the species is seen in a country's jurisdictional waters, it impacts the regions where the species is found as it moves around. In the case of the say whale, which we're studying, populations are starting to bounce back as the moratorium is still in force. But, he adds, if countries start to withdraw from whale moratoriums, hunting may start again, and that could lead to a delay of their recovery. It is a message of hope in the sense that when we all reach an agreement and protect the species, and we understand exploitation can't be infinite nor Olympic, we can be successful in the recovery of these species. Éxito en la recuperación de este, estas especies en su estado silvestre. The Japanese government announced on May 9 that it would add large fin whales to its list of commercial whaling species, which includes the say. The news comes five years after Japan left the International Whaling Commission, a global body that regulates the commercial hunt of marine mammals. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. South Africa goes to the polls on the 29th of May. I will track the election and bring you ground reports. Is it the end of the road for the African National Congress? And will former President Jacob Zuma stage a dramatic comeback? From elections, to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.